thing I think about when I wake up and the last thing I think about when I get before I go to sleep. That was Brennan Geller who gave a statement to the judge just moments before she was sentenced. She pled guilty to homicide by child abuse and was sentenced today to 22 years in prison. WIS reporter Naomi Popa joins us live in studio. And Naomi, you were in that courtroom this morning. Tell us about the emotions there. Judy and Hannah, the emotions were high awaiting Geller's sentence. She faced a maximum life sentence. This crime happened nearly six years ago, and several in attendance have been waiting for justice to be served. Um, Ms. Geller, on the charge of homicide by child abuse, she be committed to the Department of Corrections for a period of 22 years. 10 days, credit served. That is all. Court is adjourned. And with that, Geller left the courtroom in handcuffs. A 22 year sentence with no possibility of parole. She gave birth to the newborn named Kimberly Faith Taylor in the back of her car and placed the baby in an industrial sized black trash bag on the floorboard. In court this morning, I learned the autopsy revealed Kimberly Taylor died of suffocation. I spoke with Kimberly's father, Edwin Taylor, Geller's then boyfriend, who told me he wanted her to serve a longer sentence. It's not what we wanted, not what I wanted. She took life from me, so I expected the same for her. But at the end of the day, like I said in my impact statement, she ultimately has to stand before the true judge, which is God, and she will answer for her doings on that day. In court this morning, the judge heard from several of Taylor's family members on the impact this death has had on the family. Geller's attorneys provided the judge a psychiatric report that was done on Geller. The doctor claimed Geller was shockingly immature and emotionally unstable when the crime happened. I asked Taylor for his reaction on this statement. One, age does not matter. If you're pregnant, you're pregnant. You know it. Immaturity is out the door. She knew she had a duty. She failed to carry out that duty. So that's why we're ultimately we're here. Geller's attorney countered saying there's a difference between being criminally responsible and being a criminal. They said Geller isn't a criminal. I'm very well sorry I am, but what happened on the night of August 3rd, 2018? Never in a million years would I hurt a child on purpose, especially mine. If I could go back and change it, I would in a heartbeat. I will forever be sorry for the pain that I caused everyone. I believe that I still have so much to give the world. Miller told a judge, quote, I was never given the opportunity to hold her in my arms. I only get to hold her in my heart. I asked Geller's attorney and mother for their reaction to the sentencing. They declined to comment. Reporting in the studio, I'm Naomi Popa, WIS News 10.